The Math Helpers channel brings you to solve the next um, integration question, which is to integrate e to the power of x log x dx. All right, so we're going to perform this thing called the integration by parts. And integration by parts tells us that if our two uh, label two terms, we call it um, u dv, and if I were to integrate it, it is equals to uv minus uh, integration of v du. So in this case, what we are doing is that we are identifying two variables or two terms and we label it one as u and the other one as dv. Uh, find out what is my du, which is the differentiation of u, and my v, which is the integration of v. And then I substitute back into the equation by I didn't know this popular, uh, formula called the integration by parts. Alright, so what we do now is that we will let u be equals to log x and then we will let dv be equals to e to the power of x. So when we try and solve it, we know that u is equals to log x and my d, du over dx basically is just equals to 1 over x um, ln 10. My dv itself is e to the power of x. My v is basically just e to the power of x because the integration of e to the power of x is, you know, itself. <laughs> All right. So now we know my u, my v, my du over the x, which is my du, and my dv itself is e to the power of x. We can actually substitute into the equation to find out, okay, what is uh, what is the equation after you know integration by parts. So my u is uh, log x, my v is e to the power x, we have e to the power x log x minus away my du itself is 1 over x ln 10, my v is just basically e to the power x and of course we have uh, dx. Alright, so 1 over ln 10 is constant so we put it out of the integration sign so we have just e to the power of x over x dx. Okay, here is the trouble. So how do we go about integrating e to the power of x over x dx? If you were to understand about this thing called the Taylor series, that means it's the estimation of um, a particular term. e to the power of x, if you were to perform a Taylor series, is approximately equals to e plus e over 2 um, x minus 1 square minus e over 3 x minus 1 from the cube plus dot dot dot. That means there are some other equations. All right. And if we were to integrate the left hand side by e to the power of x over x, the right hand side, you know, basically is just e x. That means we integrate the whole thing. Uh, e plus uh, e over 2 x minus 1 square minus e over 3 x minus 1 cube plus dot 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 and if I were to integrate it this will be approximate equals to if I were to integrate e which is a constant is just e x plus if I were to integrate this term it will be you know e over 6 x minus 1 cube minus if I integrate this term, that will be e over 12, x minus 4, 1 to the power of 4, and, uh, and so on and so forth, because they are so small to uh, be significant. All right, and what we do down here is that we substitute this whole bunch of equations into this integration of e to the power of x over x. And what do we have down there was 1 over ln 10 bracket e x plus e over 6 x minus 1 cube plus so this should be minus e over 12 x minus 1 to the power of 4 bracket plus c and this is the final answer of this integration of e to the power x log x dx all right it's a bit complicated but uh, of course there's also another thing to take note that if you were to differentiate log x is not 1 over x all right it's actually 1 over x ln 10. okay cool that's it for, from me thank you guys for watching and i will see you in the next video